putting ape emotions on the map was only one of Goodall's accomplishments. She also found powerful evidence of their intelligence. Goodall was the first to report chimps making and using tools, in this case, to fish for termites. When she found termite fishing, people were so surprised and thought we should change the definition of humans or we should include chimpanzees as humans. What Goodall couldn't have known was that at a place called Gualugo, other chimps had an even more sophisticated way to catch termites. First, they use a big stick like a shovel to open the ground. Then they switch to a slender probe to pull up the insects. Perhaps Goodall's most astonishing discovery was that chimps are hunters. She watched a troop catching colobus monkeys by hand. Although no one has established that they actually coordinate their efforts, the chimps seem to be cooperating. And cooperation is, after all, one of the key drivers of human culture. Could apes rev up their culture by working together? Imagine a group of chimps, armed and dangerous, hunting as a band. So why isn't Earth planet of the apes? Do apes even have the capacity to cooperate? A series of new studies reveals the rudiments of teamwork in the great apes, but they still come up short. In an experiment at the Great Ape Research Institute in Japan, a chimp knows that food is hidden under a stone. Then researchers swap in a heavier stone. If two chimps each know about the food, can they work together? In repeated trials, no pair of chimps ever communicated to synchronize their pulling. Swap in a person, researcher Satoshi Hirata, and chimps still don't collaborate. At first. But eventually, they figured out the sweet rewards of cooperation. Ultimately, the chimps learned to ask for a helping hand. A needy chimp may recruit help from a person, but will it ever offer assistance? One of the most surprising findings uh, of all of my years of studying apes has been that they actually will help humans. If you're reaching for an out-of-reach object, if they understand what your goal is, then they will help you. Of course, if you've dropped your banana, forget it you won't get it back. Chimps can understand what someone else wants. And one study shows that they can even interpret another's actions as good or bad. In Leipzig, Germany, a chimpanzee is about to receive a tray of monkey chow. At the same time, he's given a rope under the platform. He can pull any time to collapse the platform and end the experiment. Another chimp now enters the cage. 
This chimp is free to pull a second rope on top of the tray. The first chimp is ticked off. He pulls the hidden rope and the game's over. Was he just generally outraged? Or was he taking specific revenge on the thief? To find out, the researcher now moves the food. Once again, the first chimp has lost his food to the second. All that's changed is who's responsible. In trials where the researcher moves the chow, the first chimp is much less likely to crash the platform. That would punish an innocent chimp who had no intent to do him wrong. They can gauge who is responsible for something that has been done. Humans make a big distinction, and, and it's, intentions are very important for humans. For instance, take the case uh, in, our, in our judicial system, manslaughter and murder. The difference between those two is simply the intent. So chimps have a sense of justice, and they can cooperate with people. Can they collaborate spontaneously with each other? Researchers also from the Max Planck Institute placed fruit on a board just out of a chimpanzee's reach. The chimps are behind bars, both to keep them from the food and because they can be impulsive, strong, and dangerous. When a solo chimp can reach both ends of a rope, it hauls them in and gets all the food. But on some trials, the ends are too far apart. If the chimp pulls just one end, the rope unthreads. The chimp has another option. He can unlock a door to bring in a helper who's been watching. The two chimps now work together. But a series of trials shows that this teamwork doesn't come easily. The helper must be a friend and the food divided into separate dishes. Can a more loving ape cooperate better? At Lola Yabanobo Sanctuary in the Congo, victims of the pet trade are raised by human mothers. When these bonobos grow up, they will spend their days outdoors, becoming savvy about life in the forest. Bonobos are the most social of the great apes, and in their groups, all friends are friends with benefits. A simple way to diffuse tension. Calmer than chimps, how do bonobos do on the cooperation test? Brian Hare places food in a central shared well. Okay, ready? One, two, three! All the food is in the same dish, so it's very easy for one individual to bump the other individual out of the way and steal it all. Okay, Mikasi. Okay, one, two, three, go! It takes the bonobos a while to get on task. Mikasi. But soon they get the hang of it. With their more congenial temperaments, bonobos are more cooperative than chimps are. In fact, bonobos may take cooperation even further. When a young male died at Lola Ya Bonobo, workers were trying to remove his body. The staff decided to use sticks and try to move the bonobo towards a door they mounted uh, an incredible defense of this body that surprised everybody and was extremely moving. That's a fascinating reaction on the part of the bonobos. They were not related to that individual, and yet they took extreme risks to protect his body. As they fend off the humans, it seems as if they're cooperating. 
But what does it take to work together? Are they comparing the number of staff to their own troops? Can they calculate at all?